How long would it take to uh, excrete out the world's oceans? This is actually a pretty straightforward question. All you need is how much urine a person excretes in a given amount of time, and then divide that by the volume of the oceans. Fortunately, the US National Library of Medicine not only has these values, but they also have equally straightforward tests to make sure that you're um, outputting enough. Also, shout out to you diabetics, as you excrete more urine in a 24 hour period, which gives you a slight advantage. Anyways, they give values of between 800 and 2,000 milliliters in a 24-hour period. For simplicity's sake, let's use 1,500 milliliters per day. A quick unit conversion gives roughly 17 milligrams of urine per second, a little more than four-fifths of a housefly. Every. Second. Every. Now let's find out how voluminous the oceans are. The National Centers for Environmental Information tells us that the ocean's volume is approximately 1,335,000,000 cubic kilometers, with a 1% error estimate. Convenient. Now let's set up this bad boy. Convert cubic kilometers to milliliters and then divide by our conversion. What do we get? 7.69 times 10 to the 25 seconds. As a quick review on scientific notation, that's 769 followed by 23 zeros. That's a lot to wrap your head around. 2.4 quintillion years. That's 179 million times the age of the universe. If you were growing a beard during this, by the time that you were done, your beard would reach the moon and back 600 million times. Although, that means if you put together everyone from any country more populous than Bangladesh, you could get it done in less time than the universe has been in existence as we know it. Hell, if you put all of China towards it, you would get it done in only 1.7 billion years, a little more than one-eighth the age of the universe. According to Wikipedia, multicellular life hasn't even been around that long, only for 1.5 billion years. And keep in mind that humanity as we know it has only been around for 195,000 years. This exercise hopefully gave you insight on how our world and the universe are incomprehensibly huge. The numbers we're using here are just so massive that we have to use the current age of the universe to bring it down to size, which, keep in mind, is almost 14 billion years old. The numbers are just too big for our puny brains to grasp. 